Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice system of equations. a plus b is equal to 4 and a cubed plus b cubed is equal to 7. Our job is to find all possible values of a and b. So, let's start. Let's call this equation equation 1 and this equation equation 2. First, we take a square of both sides of equation 1. Equation 1 is a plus b is equal to 4 and we take square of uh, both sides. This uh, a plus b whole squared will become a squared plus uh, b squared plus uh, 2ab is equal to 4 squared is uh, 16. Move this uh, 2ab to the right hand side then this will become a squared plus uh, b squared is equal to 16 minus 2a b. Let us call this equation equation number 3. Now, from this uh, equation 2, equation 2 is uh, a cubed plus uh, b cubed is equal to 7. This uh, a cubed plus b cubed can be factorized as uh, a plus uh, b times uh, a squared minus a times b plus b squared is equal to 7. Next, a plus b times we rearrange these terms a squared plus b squared minus a times b is equal to 7. Now, in this equation, we replace this a plus b with this value 4 we replace this uh, a squared plus b squared with this value 16 minus 2ab from equation 3. So, this will become 4 times in place of a squared plus b squared we write this uh, 16 minus 2ab 16 minus 2ab minus this a times b is equal to 7. Next, 4 times 16 negative 2 a b minus a b will become negative 3 a b is equal to 7. Distribute this 4, this will become 4 16 times 64 and 4 times negative 3 a b negative 12 a b is equal to 7. Move this uh, 64 to the right hand side then this will become negative 12 a b is equal to 7 minus 64. Next negative 12 a b is equal to 7 minus 64 will become negative 57 and uh, from here we divide both sides by negative 12. This uh, negative 12 will be considered with this negative 12 and uh, from here we get uh, a times b is equal to this uh, minus will be considered out and uh, 3 19 times uh, 57 and 3 4 times 12. So, this will become 19 divided by 4. Let us call this equation equation number 4. Now, if we recall equation number 1. Equation 1 is uh, a plus b is equal to 4. Equation 1 is uh, a plus b is equal to 4. This is equation number 1 and we have system of two equations. So, we can find the values of b by solving this system. From this uh, equation number 1, we move this a to the right hand side. This implies that b is equal to 4 minus a. Now, in this equation, we replace this b with this 4 minus a. Then, this uh, equation 4 will become a times 4 minus a is equal to 19 over 4. 
distribute a this will become 4 times a minus a squared is equal to 19 over 4 move these two terms to the right hand side this will become a squared minus 4 times a plus 19 over 4 is equal to 0. Now, to remove fractions uh, we multiply the whole equation by 4. So, this will become 4 a squared minus 16 times a plus 19 is equal to 0. Now, this 4 a squared can be written as 2 a whole squared. This negative 16 a can be written as a negative 2 times 2 a times 4. To make this a perfect square, we add and subtract 4 squared means 16 and we subtract 16 plus this 19 is equal to 0. Now, by using this algebraic identity a squared minus 2 a b plus b squared is equal to a minus b whole squared. This is 2 a squared minus 2 times 2 a times 4 plus 16 will become 2 times a minus 4 whole squared this negative 16 plus 19 will become plus 3 is equal to 0. Move this 3 to the right hand side then this will become 2 times a minus 4 whole squared is equal to negative 3. And from here we take a square root of both sides. Now, this square will be considered out with this square root and we are left with 2 times a minus 4 is equal to plus minus root negative 3. Next, 2 a minus 4 is equal to plus minus root negative 3 can be written as root negative 1 times root 3. Next, 2a minus 4 is equal to plus minus this root negative 1 will become i times root 3. Move this negative 4 to the right hand side this will become 2 times a is equal to 4 plus minus i times root 3. And if we divide both sides by 2 this implies that a is equal to 4 plus minus i times root 3 divided by 2 means that from here we get two values of a a is equal to 4 plus i times root 3 divided by 2 and second is a is equal to 4 minus i times root 3 divided by 2. Now, to find the values of b, we recall the equation. We recall this equation b is equal to 4 minus a. We recall this equation b is equal to 4 minus a. b is equal to 4 minus a. When a is equal to this expression then this will become b is equal to 4 minus a is 4 plus i times root 3 divided by 2. We can write the denominator 1 and we take LCM of 1 and 2 that is 2. And this will become 2 4 times 8 minus this 4 and due to this negative sign this plus will become negative i times root 3 
this will become 8 minus 4 4 minus i times root 3 divided by 2. So, when a is equal to 4 plus i times root 3 over 2 then b will be 4 minus i times root 3 over 2. Now, when a is equal to this expression then this will become b is equal to 4 minus 4 minus i times root 3 divided by 2 and we can write the denominator 1 we take LCM of 1 and 2 that is 2 2 times 4 will become 8 minus 4 due to this negative sign this minus will become plus i times root 3 and this will become 8 minus 4 4 plus i times root 3 divided by 2 this is equal to b so when a is equal to 4 minus i times root 3 over 2 then b will be 4 plus i times root 3 over 2 so the final set of solutions of a comma b is equal to the first pair is 4 plus i times root 3 over 2 comma 4 minus i times root 3 over 2 and the second pair is 4 minus i times root 3 over 2 comma 4 plus i times root 3 over 2 this is the final answer of this problem